Hey guys, how's it going? Kruparian here. Today I want to give you guys uh, probably a video that I should have done quite a while ago uh, because it's certainly up my alley. It is Menagerie Builds. Now, Menagerie Builds, traditionally the Light Fang build, is a build that is actually no longer tracked on a lot of the major stats tracking websites. And that is because it's not very good. Now, I think it is just a tad below par, so it is not like hopelessly bad but you have to understand that if you're just playing a light fang and trying to scale a few of the cards and you're expecting to win most likely you will not win but there are a few things that have brought this back a little bit and the main card in that is the Manted Queen. The Manted Queen is a recently added card with the Naga patch but it took a while for this card to actually start shining mostly with the Nagas being nerfed. Um, it is a Kind of like the replacement for a Malgadon, and I say kind of very loosely, because it is very kind of. Uh, it, it, is, it is much worse than a Malgadon in most cases, but not in all cases. So I want to go over that today. So the Manted Queen triggers its adaptations when combat starts. You might not get the Divine Shield that you were hoping for. You might not get the Wind Fury you were hoping for. But it does start with poison, so you always have the poison. And one trick that uh, I think I have mentioned a few times, but I rarely see people doing it, which makes me think that people are still not listening or they're skipping the Crip Arena too often. Um, you want to put Taunt on your damn Manted Queens, okay? The reason why you want to do that is because you can't multiple times adapt into the same keyword. So if Manted Queen has Taunt, like with Defender of Argus, it cannot adapt into Taunt when combat starts. So at the very, very worst, it's getting plus five, plus five off that Argus, which is pretty good. It can get an endless plus five, plus five, so it still doesn't guarantee any of the other outcomes, but it certainly increases the odds, and especially so if you're playing a Menagerie build. You can start with a Light Fang, level pretty quickly because you get constant stats um, while you're not buying cards. And these days, you can actually rely on filling the board with powerful filler cards. And Manted Queen is exceptionally powerful as a filler card if you have a baseline Menagerie or Light Fang setup. So it's actually not too bad at all. Um, but you have to get Taunt on it. And one thing I've also seen that it helps the build quite a lot is just to get a few extra stats on it. Um, the, the best way to do that is if Quillbores are in, you try to get like a Charlotte or something. Because um, even if you have like a Divine Shield, Poisonous, Wind Fury, whatever, if it's like a 6-6, six, six, uh, yeah, it it's still probably not that great. Um, but if you go just a little bit north of that, uh, it doesn't have to be huge, right? It, like one, once you hit like double digits, once it's like a 10-10, it stops dying to like random crap like tokens. So you just, you really want to get it to that stage and you really want to get it taunt. And you honestly have a pretty solid build. And most importantly, it's not a build that's currently tracked because on average, it's, it's kind of crappy. But... With a few of these tech choices, I do think this build will actually come back, and it's better than most of the builds that people are playing these days. So, have a look at the video, give it a try, and enjoy. Let the tide rise. Man, those are pretty good, I guess. All right. them all away! Good enough. So, you return to my shore. Go! I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's very, very good. Why did it take so long? 
Oh wow, he's on three. There's a lot of Samsung devices that Diablo doesn't work on. Really? I had not heard that. Your presence is mighty! I don't like that. <laughs> I love catching some waves. Fine. It's because of their processor or something? I don't know. I have a Samsung phone, so I, I don't but I haven't I haven't tried Immortal on it. I played Immortal beta on like my Google Pixel or something. But uh, it looked like crap, so I ended up using Rania's iPhone. But that was like that was like the first first beta that I think they just like designed for iPhone. Victory rolls in with the tides. Yeah, I think I think I'll try not to fall into the low tier elemental trap. This here is generally about power leveling and being barely strong enough to not take damage. I think had I got the party elemental or the molten rock, I may have reconsidered though. What Samsung do I have? Uh, I don't know. Whatever came out like three months ago. You are worthy. S22 Ultra. Yeah, probably that one. Spinach artichoke dip. Putting together a bunch of things that don't taste good doesn't make them taste good. Never lucky. Failure must not pollute your resolve. It does if you drown it in cream cheese. Artichokes do taste good. There are artichokes that taste good, but most of the, like, artichokes have, like, a really weird taste. And if you have, like, roasted artichoke or whatever, too often, not always, but too often, the fibers on the ends, it's like, it's like fucking floss. Those things just won't break apart. It's just terrible. Like, if I go to a restaurant and I see artichoke, I pass. Most of the time, it's awful. And you've never had a bad artichoke in California? Uh, well, I have. Your power rocks the sea. Yeah, the double pirate just crushes right now. Hey, look, it's probably another over 10%. Like, getting crushed in the turns where you're a little weak is so lame. Oh, I guess it's not. Okay. Surprised to see him uh, reborn the mech at the end. Don't really understand that. I mean, he was favored as probably like 70 or something. Oh, 98. Holy shit. But yeah, top end damage. Oh, wow. Rag died? Oh. What the fuck? 
Okay. An impressive acquisition. Holy shit. Yeah, all right. Should I just like, buy one? Probably. Because the hero power might be terrible. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hero power that, yeah. Yeah, I don't think Rag has anything. He wasn't a ghost until last turn. It just I, it says patches killed him, but like you you saw me get damage capped like two rounds ago. By fucking patches, actually. What the fuck? God, watch this be bugged and Ragnaros fucking kills me. But it says he has no car. I don't understand. He just died, by the way. He just died. Okay, there was no dead player last turn. Two turns ago, I took a damage cap. It says that Patches killed him for two damages on Tavern 1. I don't understand. There's some kind of bug. Okay, looks like it's fine. Looks like it's fine. Okay. Let's try it, I guess. A little too late. No, maybe not. This can be pretty strong. Half the board is garbage. Only sometimes. Well, this is good. This is good enough. These can be really good. And this is not half. I'm not yet impressed. Pretty good max, but I just can't sell them. Oh, they still didn't fix the the taunt minion super loud tavern bug. I did I did tell them about that uh, a few days ago. Just just so you guys know. They know. Actually, no, I guess it's like the weekend now. No, that's probably what it is. Oh, well. You impress me, mortal. It looks like that guy was literally all in on that one card, so... Is he alive? Man, that's lucky. Holy fuck. Okay. Back to Lich King. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna just wait with those there, because last time I did this, 
They fucking moved right as I played the card. My shield for okay. Whew. Got it. Fazumak's forces would flee at the mere sight of this soldier. If you give them taunt, they can't roll taunt. So the taunt is minimum plus five, plus five. Because that's the worst they can roll. And it's a much higher chance of getting divine shield. You always taunt those. You are worthy. Reborn Leroy. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Okay, he's dead, right? Alright. 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 Three dead. Alright. What am I missing? Elemental. I don't really want an elemental right now, though. Pirates, I guess. That minion will make a big splash. Make good use of this minion. By fate or fortune. He killed Patches. Patches beat Omo. Which killed Galakron. Yeah, it looks like Maev is like the death dealer here. Alright. Deal me in, I guess. Yeah, I played quite a bit of Storybook Brawl. I got to the Mythic rank. 4,000, I think. No more. Yeah. Victory rolls in I need Zap. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, that Wind Fury was not so good. Looks like a win, though. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Kidoki, our NFT is dead. Seven star minions only accessible from tripling six. They'll probably do that eventually. Victory rolls in with the tides. I actually think the whole NFT thing is kind of sad. Like. Like, NFT is starting to gain popularity because there were some actually, like, really cool ones that people bought for a lot of money. But they were actually, like, works of art. Like, significant works of art. It wasn't like, oh my god, Mona Lisa time. But it was, like, not shit. Okay? And then, like, literally the next day, 
fucking the Logan Paulers of the world bring up their scams, and then it's like 99.9% scam influencer pump and dump rug pulls since then. And yeah, NFTs are basically done now. Yeah, stonks.